So I'm breaking out of uh I'm not breaking out of character. Although I feel like I am. Th what we're gonna do is we're changing the script. Uh because I'm just like what if we wanted to display the user's full name here? One idea would be to go to the user model and to define a new method called full name. And here we would just take our first name, last name, and join it, right? And now we can say, print out the user's full name. And we have that. And really, we need a unit test for this, and we're not going to do that. But because I don't want to keep it here, I, otherwise I would unit test it. Where should this go? Where should we put our full name? And the my thought is that it'd be nice to have, uh, we're gonna do the, I think we should do a decorator pattern. I don't know how, how long this will stay into the system because we're gonna eventually start migrating to React. Uh, but for right now, we don't have React and we're kind of building an app um, traditional style. And so I think it would be nice to, to, to add it for ourselves. Um, okay, so now we have that cleaned up. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a... Let's think about this. I'm going to do it the way Ryan Bates did it. And I don't remember how he did it exactly. Essentially what he did is he had this syntax for saying present and you give it an object like this and now we call a name on here and when we call this present method it returns back a user presenter class or an instance of that class and so if we try this, we're going to get an error. So let's go to our helpers and add a presenter helper. And it define it returns nil. And so what we want to do is we want to we want to have a class. Uh, we're going to go into app presenters. And we're going to have our user presenter. We're kind of driving this without unit test. Is that bad? Probably. Let me go ahead and at least define this class. Actually, we should let our unit test drive that class. So I've gotten out of practice here. Let's try this and see if I can't do it. Uh, this probably doesn't need our, our rails. We're going to describe our user presenter. And we expect to find our user presenter at app presenters uh, user presenter. And on this last class, user presenter. Cool. And what we want to do here is just say, like, we have a full name on this. And it concats the first and last name of a user. So what we'll do here is we'll just have a user. It'll be a double. It'll be our user. And we'll have a first name, Bob, last name, Wiley. And we'll have our presenter, which will be user presenter new with our user. And we expect our presenter dot full name to equal Bob Wiley. Okay. So we need to have an initializer, takes our user, signs our user, and full name is not defined, and we're missing this, so user at first name, last name, join, and we don't have that. Adder reader user. Okay, so more code than we had before. That's for sure. 
but this is really easy to unit test. We don't have to load rails. Um, so this first part is good, I think. We'll add our app presenters and our spec. So add a user presenter. And the next thing we want to do is go into our presenter helper and we're going to drive this thing. This one's going to be a little bit more complicated. So we'll need Rails helper here. Our presenter helper. And our present method is what we're going to describe. And we're going to say this, this loads a, um, or initializes a um, presenter class for an object. How about that? And the other test that we'll have is it um, lets us know when we don't got it. Uh, when we don't, I, I won't do that. We don't have a class presenter. Okay, so for this one, ultimately what we want to do is we want to have our presenter equal our presenter helper dot present a um, something that we're never going to have in this system, like a chess piece. I only say that because I have chess pieces on my desk. Um, uh, and it's something we'll probably never have in a garage. Um, well, we probably would actually, but not in this system. So a chess piece here is just going to be equal to chess pins. Uh, equals chess piece dot new. And that is actually going to come from stub constant chess piece. And it'll just be a type of class. And what we want to have this presenter be is a chess piece presenter, which is also a class. And and our chess piece presenter. Actually, we'll make this a struct, and that way we can um, yeah. Okay. So what I'm thinking here is we make this a struct because now we can we'll be able to say that expect our presenter dot chess piece to equal our chess piece, right? Because essentially what we want to do here is we want to say chess piece presenter dot new with our chess piece. And by using a struct, we get a built-in initializer, an initializer for free. And like what we could do, because structs are comparable to each other, is we could actually say this needs to be a chess piece presenter dot new with our chess piece. Um, that's another option here. Uh, I don't actually know which one's better. I kind of actually like this one since we're validating this has to be this type of class, uh, which in this case is a struct, has to be this struct, like all sorts of greatness. Uh, I killed my, my file. Okay, so let's run this and see what we get. Uh, we have no present method. That doesn't seem right. Present question mark module presenter helper if I'm, oh I find you to do it here does this go away now look if my Ruby knowledge is gone how do we define how do we test an instance method on a module? Can't do this. Okay. So this has to be defined here. Ruby test method on module. This is always good for YouTube videos. Uh, I know this. You have to include it.
So I guess you have to have it. Okay, we can do that. <sighs> Hollow. Um. Uh, dummy class. Oh, that's why he did extend. Ah, gotcha. Wrong argument. What do we have going on here? Line 10, point of class, expected module. Oh, I need the prisoner helper. Okay. All that work to finally get us here. And for that, we'll actually just have pushed this up here into a before. Um, there's probably a better way to do this, being that we're in our spec, but I'm okay with doing this right now. Basically, all we're doing is we're extending this module to this class, which brings all these defined methods as class methods. So that's why we're able to say dummy class dot present. Um, and we're testing this. So if we take that away, now we'll get our present method is missing. And if we take our argument away, we'll say that we're passing one argument expected zero. Okay. So here's where we go. Like now we have this instance of our chess piece and we want to pull out this chess piece presenter. So what I want to do is say our presenter class is equal to object.class uh, name plus presenter and we'll say if const defined presenter class actually we won't do that check because we don't have that that's this test down here so we'll say presenter class dot constantize dot new with our object Okay, that, that works. So it's actually easier than I thought it was going to be. I don't see we're cheating because we're using active support here for our constant ties, um, which is doing this thing. Um, yeah. Something that we will probably do in the future if we really kept this is have our presenter class like this. Um, and that way we could pass that in explicitly, but we're okay. Um, and actually, I have this in a project that I'm working on right now, although I think it works a little bit differently than this. But it would be nice to have like a present each, where we just map over each of these objects and return back our presenter. But we don't need that for now. Right now, we have this test that's telling us we don't do anything. So we'll pull, we'll actually copy this test. Uh, but the difference is here, when we do this, Looks like to raise an error. Presenter helper missing presenter. And we get our no class missing presenter. Uh, missing presenter. Um, runtime error. I don't know. It's not really a runtime error. It's probably a name error. And. We expected it, but we got nothing. Instead, we got an uninitialized constant. So uh, raise our missing presenter dot new unless our presenter class um, const defined our presenter class. OK, so really easy. Three lines of code give us our user presenter. So now if we refresh the page, uh, const define for class. Oh, what's the other way to do it? Const define.
Do we need to say object? It's just loading. No, let's restart the server. I bet it. I bet Rails isn't finding that new user presenter here. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that works now. Uh, now it does concern me slightly that I have to add this here, and the unit test doesn't explicitly call for that. Um, but because I'm not testing the module, probably the best way that I could test the module. I don't know how to do that. Um, can we do this as a module? Does that require me to have const define? No. So here we'll just say um, we'll add our spec and our app helpers. Um, add a presenter helper. And we'll say use presenter uh, for a full name. So now that we have that, which is kind of a nice, I kind of like this because now our view um, pages home, we're not tampering with our user model. Like our user model really should be a thin wrapper around our database table. And so adding like the full name method here feels a little bit dirty because we're probably never going to use this full name outside of our actual Rails application. Uh, or I'm sorry, outside of our views. And so having it inside of these presenters or also called decorators, also kind of like a view model, um, any of those, it works perfectly for that.